Wait, did you know that? Notion had some cool new updates in the past couple months. Here are a few the most useful in my opinion. Notion has a new feature that show a nicer preview of URLs in your page, making them easier to understand and uh, shorten some messy URLs. You can do it right in the table view as well. You don't have this long URLs anymore. Plus, if you use the file and media property, you can even rename their link names if you are like to have it more organized and meaningful description. Stay organized with a table of content that stick with you as you scroll through your page. This is absolutely my favorite. Now you can see everything in the sidebar. If you scroll down, you don't have to scroll through the long, long, long pages. And finally, you can now import PDFs and Google Docs directly into your Notion page. This is pretty cool. If you go slash, you look for PDF, you will find this feature and then you can import it easier than that. And if you're a visual learner like me, we get some cool new crop feature in the image. You can directly crop images in Notion. I love it. I was waiting for this feature so long and now it's finally here. Right back in the days, we have one task database where we put all our to-dos. Now you can turn every table view to task database. And if you do that, it will appear in your home space and it doesn't matter where you task is as long as it's turned into task database so you can see them all in your home space. However, if you turned your table view into task database, can go even further and use the print feature. If you turn on the print feature, Notion will automatically create two extra database. One is print board and second is prints. And don't forget to go to the home space and customize a layout that works best for you. Ton of new customization in the home screen. You can adjust the calendar events and you can turn off the widget you don't need or you can give even further and open the task directly in the full screen mode that you don't get distracted for all the widgets or my personal favorite you can add task or events directly from the home screen base however one thing keep in mind this is only available on mac and i think ipad or desktop pc uh, on mobile it's not quite here yet capture quick notes right here or use a, the keyboard shortcut command n that will create a new page what a time saver i love it keep your sidebar organized by customizing which section is appear so now you can change the order of your your section for example you can move the favorites down or the private or team spaces up and down and, and another cool new update is you can sort by last edit or yeah you keep it manual that you drag and drop your favorite yeah, pages up and down and you can even go further so now you can adjust how many items to show all right if that works better for your workflow you can hide weekends in your calendar view this is pretty cool you can toggle in or off and then it will disappear you will not see the weekends it's pretty cool and this is just recently released Notion sites. This is pretty new. I think Thomas Frank have already deep dive about it. Uh, I will link in description. You can check it up. Highly recommend. Let me know in comments below if you wish. I will make a deep dive and we can create a yeah, personal website only using Notion. No another tools needed. All right. Thank you so much for your time. And what feature are you most excited to try Notion? Uh, let me know in comments below. And if you enjoy this video, you maybe enjoy my latest notion video check that up as well see you in the next one